Hey y'all, what's going on? I pray that all is well with y'all on today and I am going to jump right into this video. So, today we're talking about self-love, self-check. What is hindering you growing in your self-love for yourself? One of the things that I've learned as I continue my uh, self-love journey is that one of the things that hinder us is comparison. We look and we compare. We might not say nothing, but we definitely do it. Um, and we need to stop comparing because the thing about it is this. Yes, there are, and I'm I'm going to speak for me. Yes, there are other people with cerebral palsy, but there is nobody like me. And that is the vibe, that is the wording that we have to speak to ourselves yes it's other people you know with similar this similar that but there is nobody like you there is nobody like you there is no one that can rock an outfit the way you do that can encourage a person the way you do there is nobody like you so you have to own that don't let the spirit of comparison make you feel that you are not enough and then also another thing that hinders our journey with self-love is the things that we take in, like things that were spoken over us when we were younger that we have not let go of, things that we feel we are not um, adequate enough for. Like we have to, we have to take in positivity when it comes to building ourselves up. You can't worry about what... Um, was spoken to you over your past. Let those things lie just where they were in the past and you keep pressing and you keep pushing because what somebody thinks, like I said before, is going to change of you daily. But what you think about yourself, that is what always matters because you're with yourself. Like, that just told my mom I was gonna be basically stupid, wasn't gonna be able to do nothing wasn't going to be able to accomplish nothing. But God had the final say. So you have to be able to look at all of those negative things, all of those no's that you feel that you took in, like I'm not tall enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not handsome enough, I'm not buff enough, I'm not uh, eloquent speaking enough. All of those things that you feel are not enough, when you tap into who you are and love who you are, you're going to learn that all of those you're not enough is if you love who you are and you trust what God is showing you, he's going to tell you that who you are, the way you are, is more than enough. We have to be able to look at ourselves, and I'm going to keep repeating it. Look at ourselves at every stage we are in and love ourselves no matter what. If we are in a bad day, say, okay, it's a bad day, but guess what? It's still a day that you are breathing, okay? We have to learn how to love ourselves at every stage. Yes, it's going to be days where we wake up and we be like, not today, but guess what? you're still here. You're still here because you have a purpose. You have to be able to look at yourself, men, women, child, boy, girl, look at yourself and smile. There is only one person like you. Don't worry about what everybody else is is doing, what everybody else is saying, what everybody else is is is, is feeling. Self-love is a personal thing. Don't, if, if somebody is around you and they can't speak positivity to you and give you that gas when you need that gas, because, listen, all my friends know, I say all it takes is one gas and it's over, okay? But you have to, y'all, you have to love yourself at every level and i'm going to keep saying it because it's important love yourself at every level love yourself at every transitional stage that you go through because i need you to remember you are fearfully and wonderfully made 
just the way you are, fearfully and wonderfully made. You have to speak life to yourself. So let's let's go through this real quick before I end this video. The things that hinder the self-love journey is comparison, the things that were spoken of us over our past, and the things that we believe about ourselves. Don't let what was spoken to you over your past dictate your future because if you made it out of that past that nobody thought you were going to make it out of and you're stepping into this future, you need to speak life over you because you're here and you have a purpose and you need to love on yourself in that moment. Don't be afraid to love on yourself. Don't don't be afraid to have a day where you say you're feeling yourself. Self-love is important because you have to, and I'm going to keep saying it, you have to be able to look at yourself and love yourself. Check yourself. If you're having a bad day, man or woman, look in that mirror and put it together and speak something positive over yourself so that you can press on to the next day. Until the next video, y'all, be blessed.